call 999, lady answered the phone, started explaining to her that he looked like he was having a fit. And before I could kind of get to the end of explaining the fit, he looked like he'd stopped breathing and he'd just kind of gone motionless. So when we get a call, we get a beep through our headset and then the patient's there. Our first question is to find out whether the patient is breathing and whether they're awake. During the questioning, the seizure stopped, so we checked the breathing and he wasn't breathing. That's when we will start giving the CPR instructions. Reassuring me that help was on its way. Um, sorry. Um, reassuring me that help was on its way and it wouldn't be far away. Um, and then carried on telling me what to do and, and, and um, how to help him as best I could until the help got there. You've got this person in your ear, you know, although you can't see it, you feel like you are in the room and you are helping and you are giving that guidance. And then the paramedics got there. I remember thinking that they, they got there actually so quick. As I approached the front door, I could see his mum through the window doing CPR and I just ran through the house. The paramedics picked him up, scooped him up, they got all of the equipment and got him in the ambulance um, and then two further paramedics then got into the ambulance um, before we left our estate and so they were all um, helping him all the way to Wigan Hospital. For a mum in that situation, she was just fantastic, absolutely fantastic. It's absolutely incredible just to see him is, is a miracle, an absolute miracle. We've done what we set out to do, saved somebody's life and I could retire happy tomorrow, but you're the same. Well, maybe not tomorrow, I'm a bit too yeah. young. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so fantastic to be able to say thank you. They are truly, truly amazing. They are.